So today we will talk about Linux kernel hacking. So basically Linux kernel hacking means modifying the source code or adding to the source code of the Linux kernel. As we all know, Linux is an open source operating system. So you get readily the code that is the kernel code of the operating system for Linux. Uh, the kernel code is responsible for all the resource management tasks and all the hardware peripherals and controls. Okay, so most of the Linux distros offer you the source code for uh, the GUI as well, but uh, mostly none of the developers are interested in modifying the GUI part because that is secondary part. Okay, so. The kernel hacking thing is really an interesting topic as far as academia or research is concerned. Okay. So, first and foremost, uh, most people are interested in this kind of thing, uh, in system programmers and all this. Uh, so, most of them are really confused where to begin with. So, here's how you begin with it. So, first and foremost, you learn C programming. Okay. Yeah, and follow these steps in the way it is given only. Okay, so if you misplace the steps, if you learn computer architecture for advanced year in assembly, uh, you will get jumbled. So I suggest you learn C programming first. Okay, then comes assembly, then comes computer architecture. Only then you will understand actually why things are needed or why you could actually fill out the missing links. Only if you go through this sequence, okay. First, you learn C programming, okay. C programming as in you learn everything about pointers. You should know anything and everything that is related to pointers and memory management, okay. And in assembly programming, you need to write all the routines, okay. So, assembly programming also, I suggest if you have a copy of uh, 8085 by Gaukar, you can fairly start with 8085 well. Because a uh, lot of stuff changes, but uh, the book is really good. So I suggest using that book. Okay. And the third part is computer architecture. Computer architecture you could learn first, but uh, you cannot appreciate the beauty of this subject unless and until you get acquainted to programming first, and then you learn computer architecture so as to optimize the stuff or resource management stuff. Here. Okay, so that's it. So most of people think or ask me, is it really hard? And other half ask me, is it really easy? So well, the answer is it depends actually. If you are a fairly good programmer or better programmer, then it would be easy for you. Like you have to do it. Uh, if you are uh, really used to managing big projects, then it would be a piece of cake for you. But uh, if you are a beginner, so in compilation of the kernel, it takes around uh, 4 to 5 hours if your PC is fairly fast again. So, this is a lot amount of time for a beginner. So, you might lose interest or you might feel it's hard. But other than that, writing kernel or anything like that shouldn't be a big task. Okay. So, hands on skills of C programming. It should be fairly easy for anybody and everybody. Okay. So if you are really interested, you should get your hands on this thing and get started also. So secondly, most of the people ask where do you get the source code for the kernel? Uh, there was a misconception previously that source code of Linux is packaged within the distro installer, would say. Okay. But it's not the case because the source code is readily available at kernel.org. It's the repository you could say, like uh, GitHub. So it is a public repository for the Linux source code. So you could download from there. Currently, I guess the 7.4 uh, or something version is going on in the Linux kernel. But uh, that's fairly advanced version, I would say. Um, a very advanced, I would say. Means, uh, if you download that version, the problem would be that version comes along with a lot of hardware because the hardware ecosystem currently 
employs too many hardware manufacturers. You got Nvidia, you got I, Intex, and all those things. See, um, Intel and all many other manufacturers. So a lot of different drivers are there here in this case. So most of the, I would say, just seventy percent of the kernel uh, in the current version kernel code is the drivers. So I suggest you download an older version of the kernel, uh, and I specifically suggest downloading Linux kernel version 2.4. That is the base version for Android. All the Android systems work over a layer of Linux 2.4 kernel. So if you put your efforts in learning Linux version 2.4, I guess that quite sums up to the benefits of understanding more. Of Android, okay. So it's a you could say advantage point if you learn if you are learning this. So you are side by side you are getting into next of Android as well, okay. So just do it, okay.